How's it going guys? Today I was having some issues trying to put in some desktop applications into the Windows 8.1 Metro UI as you see here. Now I came across a solution so I figured I'd post a video just in case anyone else is having the same issues I was. So the best way to do it is to already have these shortcuts on your desktop. So I'm going to go to desktop and I have my shortcuts here. Now for the purpose of the video I'm going to do Bioshock Infinite and I'm going to do two, uh, Tomb Raider. So I'm going to go back to the Windows UI and just show you. Type in T-O-M. Uh, nothing comes up as you see, no Tomb Raider. And I'm going to type in Bioshock, B-I-O, nothing comes up. Okay, so you can't get them in. Now the solution to that is... Now for the video here, I'm going to just um, right click on Tomb Raider, create a shortcut, and Bioshock, create a shortcut. Now I'm just doing this because after I trade these f uh, files into a folder, they won't disappear off my desktop. Now I have my shortcuts right there. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down to the keyboard, hit the Windows key and the R key, and then it's going to bring up the Run application, and you're going to want to type in Shell colon Start Menu, just like that. Okay, hit Enter, and it brings you into the um, Start Menu file. Now you could add in those applications in here, so I'm just going to take those right here, drag those in, and there they are. Bioshock Infinite 2 and Tomb Raider 2 just for the shortcuts. Now I'm going to take off that 2. I don't want that in there. And Tomb Raider as well. Enter. That's all there is to it. This works for any application, any file. I'm going to just close that. Hit, go back to the Windows Metro UI and I'm going to type in BIO. There it is. Bioshock Infinite. I'm going to right click on that. Just hit pin to start. And that's all there is to it. I'll go back to get Tomb Raider, T-O-M, should pop right out, there it is, right click, I'm going to pin that to start, and there they are. So Bioshock Infinite and Tomb Raider are now accessible via the uh, Metro UI, and it just makes getting into applications quicker, because when you boot up the computer, this is what you see first, so it just makes it uh, nice and quicker, you know, it takes uh, one less step away, and that's all there is to it. So I'm going to show you Bioshock Infinite, click it. Oh, sorry. Click it, takes you right in, and it launches the game. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any more questions, let me know and I'll be happy to try and help you guys out. And we'll see you in the next video. Okay, take care.